Hey, before we get started with this week's hot tip, I want to let you know that we've pulled together the best hot tips of the last six months into a playlist. Stay tuned at the end of this hot tip and we'll give you the link. Hi, I'm John Paul Fischbach. I'm the Chief Alchemist here at the Auspicious Arts Incubator, and I want to welcome you to another Hot Tip Tuesday. We've gotten a lot of requests from people to uh, give a little bit of background and a little bit of insight into value-based language. So value-based language is the key marketing change that you need to make. And stop talking about the product and start talking about the benefit and the value of your art. So the idea is fairly simple but quite difficult to master. But you need to start practicing. You need to figure out how your art and how you as an artist benefit people's lives. How does it change things for them? How does it open their mind? How does it open their heart? There are emotional benefits that come from you as an artist and from your artwork. There are intellectual benefits, things that people learn, things that people think differently now because of you and your art. If you can start to find the impact of your art, meaning what are these benefits? Why do people want to spend their time and their money with you? That's what we call value-based. They value you and your art enough to spend their time and their money with you. But it's your job to figure out why. And then start talking about that. Because the product is always going to change in your world. It might be this painting today. It might be this kind of a sculpture today. It might be this play today. But tomorrow it's going to be a different painting, a different sculpture, a different event, or a different play, a different concert. It's very hard to continually market the product. That's called branding. And it's very expensive and very hard to do. But once you realize what the benefit of you as an artist and the benefit of your art is, that won't change when the product changes. And the reason that people want to spend their time with you and spend their money with you is to receive a benefit, not to buy a product. So it's really, really key to wrestle this one through in your mind and start talking about the benefit. And if you don't know what the benefit or the value to you as an artist to other people or what the value and benefit of your art is, just ask. Start asking your big fans, your followers, people that have known your work for a long time. Ask them what they get out of it. Ask them how it benefits them. Ask them why they value you. Once you start hearing what happens to them when they experience your work intellectually, emotionally, spiritually, you'll start to understand what the benefit of your art is. And it's way easier to market that than it is to market a product. Okay? So that's a little tiny, tiny bit of insight into value-based language. If you found this hot tip helpful, please like this video. If you have any questions about what we talked about, please write those below and we'll respond. We can have a bit of a dialogue about value-based language because it's a bit of a complex thing. But please feel free to comment. That's cool. And if you know someone who could benefit from this, please share this video along. You know, we want you to more than survive. We actually want you to thrive. So in order to thrive, you need to subscribe. So we'll see you back here next week for another Hot Tip on Tuesday. Watch the top five hot tips of the last six months. Just click on the screen and it'll take you to that playlist. Mm -hmm.